as we see going into 2021, that at the end of 2020, Stadia has shown that it got some serious legs going into the future years. However, some of their naysayers don't have the same luxury. See as wow, Inside Gaming Daily fails to outlast Stadia. We will have some fun with this one. Let's get into it. They sick cause I follow my gut They say I was pushing my luck I'ma push me a mat all black truck Oh, I'm not sorry Stay sick because I follow my gut. I'm clutching my gut right now. <laughs> Can we have a moment of silence before we get into this video? Let me get these last little chuckle huckles out of it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my. Hey y'all, it's your boy MM2K. Back again with another episode of the Stadium Dosage. Can y'all do me a huge favor? Can y'all hit that like button? Can you hit the subscribe button? <laughs> Can you rock those bells for notifications, please? So you know when your boy's dropping these doses, I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Oh, my. And I'm going to have to ask that y'all bear with me on this one. Oh, my. You know, there's something called delayed gratification. And that's where when you, you try to talk to people about some of their boneheaded antics, right? And they don't listen. And you know what the answer is. You know what the outcome is gonna come, is gonna be, but it's not immediate. So you're forced to just sit back and deal with them gloating over their boneheadedness until one day, boop, boop, bam, pop. <laughs> Reality hits them and karma goes full active. Now, what am I talking about? What well, is that? That's uh, th this is my friend uh, Jared. We gonna call him Jared. Jared the Laughing Nerd. That's my homie. You see him on the screen here. Jared the Laughing Nerd and I came across this tweet not too long ago, and it's from our friends at Inside Gaming. The tweet reads: Things are changing a bit around here. <laughs> Farewell to Inside Gaming Daily. Now, before you get all upset and worked up and say, oh, what, what, what? Inside Gaming Daily, which is the parent company, is Rooster Teeth. They went through some financial troubles before um, and, 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 and snatched themselves from the jaws of being shut down completely. This isn't funny, MM2K. I want to caution you. Nobody's losing their job. They're just being reallocated. To doing different things at Rooster Teeth. Uh, what was that Fun House or Fox House, whatever it is, another programming or set of content they have? People are being reallocated there. Uh, but Inside Gaming Daily, as we know it, is now kaput, finit. And I find it interesting because the reason why this has any relation to Stadia is that Inside Gaming Daily, in particular, was very, very staunch in their Stadia hate. And it didn't have to be that way, even with all the trouble. They did not have to do this. They did not have to set themselves up to where me and my friend Jared the Nerd are sitting there clutching our guts. We can't hardly breathe. <laughs> Read the, 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 the fake hap happiness from those from the disbanded inside gaming daily now what about let's go back in the hot tub time machine and, and and figure out how we got here um i think it was 2019 right around 2018 or 2019 that uh, rooster teeth had ran into some trouble early i think it started early 2019 and then it really came to fruition late 2019 uh where they had to let some people go on um, they had just got alana uh i don't know the, the girl that's at santa monica now uh, Alana Pearson, I think her name is. Uh, they had just got her, but they had suffered some some layoffs, and um, it was very you know earth shattering for for the company. And that and that part ain't funny. I I look, I, I feel for them for that. You know what I'm saying? But what happened is, as they quote unquote rose from the ashes, they kind of doubled down 
on the stupid stuff the stupid we just want to be controversial or just mean you know we want to we want to cater to an audience that just loves the the, the pile on on stuff um and, and they lost their their rooster teeth flavor as far as i'm concerned right um i did an earlier video talking about how pathetic they look hating stadium and in that video we show you just a trend a downward trend that inside gaming daily was was heading into you know before they had the financial troubles they were at x amount of views and then after that they just started to plummet and so then they were just grasping at straws and trying anything and they were one of the pioneers of the we're just going to pile on stadia we're going to hate this thing and not only we're going to hate this thing but we're just going to say it's just a matter of time before it's dead they got that the poo poo signs and the r.i.p stadia signs and they had all they had all the stuff they had all the nooks and crannies all the trinkets <laughs> you know what i'm saying and they just said that stadia wasn't going to make it and a lot of people said that but the thing that irks me about inside gaming is that there are people there that are smart like these there's some publications out here to where again i, I, I you, you hate to say it but they they have connections they they wild people they were able to smooth people over they, they they can't tell their right hand from their left ankle you know what i mean uh just they're, they're just not sharp with it all right but then there are those that have a long history gaming lineage in the community and, and, and they're full of smart people and inside gaming was one of them. So it really sucked to see them throw all that away, all that intuition away, just again to, to appease a crowd of people that we like here at the Stadia Dosage like to call the idiot her, the outrage culture, okay? Um, we get it for the most part a lot of people not only want clicks but people feel threatened over their dedicated devices but if you do your research for those of you that are fearful of stadia because you think that it's going to admonish your dedicated devices understand this that stadia right now and cloud no 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 cloud gaming in general it's just a 4% business. By 2025, they're expecting it only to be an 8% business, as their analyst counts. It still can be very profitable right then and right, you know, even though being an 8% uh, business, I mean, gaming is worth billions. I mean, it's, it's outdoing all types of entertainment right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's not coming to take away your dedicated devices anytime soon. And by the time it really gets to a point to where people are like, you know what? And it, when people in majority are like, I'd rather have cloud gaming than uh, hardware. Our, our grandkids' kids will be in their 20s. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like hardware is not going away anytime soon will it be as dominant as it is right now forever no but it's not going anywhere anytime soon so you have nothing to worry about these are the same people that hate streaming or hated um, ipods because they thought their cds are going to go away i can walk into walmart right now buy any cd that i want <laughs> you know what i'm saying i ain't still uh, 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 obtain it you know even with the popularity of streaming music and 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 you know downloading it or whatever you know what i'm saying so but again inside gaming is smarter than that they done they used to do the research that's how that's why they became so popular because people were so used to their nuanced and really informative way of doing due diligence and what a difference a day makes you know what i'm saying they really lost that in in, in the stuff that they were doing now like let's take a look let me let me show you something here goes the official tweet. Things are changing a bit around here and it's farewell inside gaming daily. And they talk a lot about how they enjoy doing what they were doing. But the, the, the part that really like, I knew there was a bunch of, you know, BS is when they said, oh, we, we, we went through five different iterations of this show. And the most recent one was the most fun. No, it couldn't be, but portraying something that stupid couldn't have been fun at all. Absolutely not. I mean, you 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 lost all touch with um, reality when it comes to gaming, and you were just simply trying to be some Adult Swim knockoff, and it just didn't work. 
it was it, it was sad to see and it was a pathetic sight to behold so i'm glad that someone did the right thing and decided to take old yeller in the backyard and kaboom, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and, 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 and take and take that dog where it needed to where it belonged. Take that dog where it belonged because it just was not it just was not working for IG. With that being said, I know a lot of people may watch this video. They may say MM2K, you're gloating too much. This is a sad sight to see. Even though no one's losing their job, nobody wants to see an idea go bad. Uh, speak for yourself. I want to see. I don't look. I don't want to censor anybody, and I talked about this earlier in a live stream that I did, but I like to see bad ideas go away, even though I don't want to censor them. And I like for people to realize the bad mistake that they made and to do better. I've had to do that. That's the only way I've grown as a content creator, is realize the mistakes that I made and try to put out better content. Everybody still has their job. If they want to come back and do something daily, they can revisit how this hit rock bottom you know what i'm saying and and and, and get their their mojo back and try and, and go back to the drawing board but as far as me shedding some tears for a bunch of people that was lying to people over products just making stuff up you know just again to 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 appease the um outrage culture the idiot her no again as i said earlier this is a win-win this is a win for them because they don't lose their jobs they get a second chance they get they get nine lives here they get a second chance to, to revisit and do this right and then it's a win for consumers and gamers that don't see somebody with a blue check mark or a high number next to their name and get misled so i'm gonna have me a couple of chuckles <laughs> me and jared today we're, we're enjoying this but let this be a lesson to those of you that sit there and make these armchair quarterback analysis without doing your due diligence and your research for clicks. The internet never goes away. And just like here, it will come back to bite you in your rear. <laughs> and that's it from your boy MF2K. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I have to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies PTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yeah, the Stadia Dosage. That's it. Love you all. Have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.